Is that M Moscow Nights? Moscow Nights, that's right. Very that's nice. what Van Cliburn played for the Gorbachevs at the, at the White House. Yeah. It was recorded uh, in Soviet Union by Peter, Paul, and Olga. <laughs> <laughs> that was their big hit. Yes. <laughs> that was a bullet on the chart or whatever they call it. You're now an official member of the Mighty Carson Art Players. I thank well, you. Thank for you. Thank well, you. Thank you. I think you originally suggested this idea. Yes. The sketch for yes. us. You wrote a letter and said, hey, I think it would be funny to do that. And nobody's ever done it, so... Well, and you speak Russian? I do, absolutely. Fluently. Right. Yeah. Well, I was did you born catch there. any? Did you catch any of the stuff at all on the side when they were talking, or the interpreter? Or could you, or could you hear any of that when well, he was actually here? Uh, they weren't uh, saying anything that uh, public should know. You know, yeah. basically they were pretty good in translating. I was waiting for something. Yeah. It gives good material for yeah. us. You know? <laughs> What did you think about the summit generally? Uh, I thought it was very interesting. First of all, Gorbachev did not want to come to America, but Raisa Gorbachev wanted to see top Russian ballet dancers. <laughs> and I guess they're all here, right? Yes, yes. And uh, she's an interesting lady. Uh, she, first of all, she looks better than anything we had before. In, in, in. But she's more attractive than, say, Mrs. Khrushchev, was, oh. not, was not a beauty. Oh, well, well when Chernyenko's wife at the funeral threw herself in a casket, everyone shivered because a woman like that can wake up the dead like this. <laughs> <laughs> the, the whole country went, whoa. Whoa, yeah. wait a minute. Wow. Scary stuff. But, we, you know, I don't like to make fun about Russian women because there might be a couple of them watching and they'll, yeah. they'll hurt me. And, uh, <laughs> You know, I did a joke one night on the show, and I didn't mean it to really uh, in a pejorative sense. And I heard from uh, somebody from the uh, Russian mission or something, you know, and they're very sensitive. Oh, yeah. What would happen to you if you did those kind of jokes from the Soviet Union? In the Soviet Union? Yeah. Uh, I could do it once. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. We had, we had an expression in Russia. Women are like buses. And that was it. <laughs> Not there will be another along in five, and that was a whole. <laughs> but he, he's, he made a big impression over here, didn't he? He seems to be charming. People like him. He is more popular than most of the candidates running today. If he decides to run for the president, we're in trouble. <laughs> Yeah, his, his, his rating with the American public was incredible. 67% yeah. was, was great or something. Yep. Now, the, about the book. America on six rubles a day? Yeah, the subtitle is How to Become Capitalistic Pig. <laughs> it explains a lot of things. Um, I, I just had a lot of experiences that I wanted to share with people, right. you know. Like, for example, when a foreigner comes to America, you don't know, like, where to buy a car or something, you know. True. Now I feel like I'm an, an expert. Uh, they made me um, a spokesman for Plymouth. I was just, um, today, I was uh, in Grand Canyon. They were shooting the commercial right. for me standing on a cliff and I guess only a Russian would stand on a cliff like <laughs> dropping like 1800 feet down right. and and my when the, my real estate person or my insurance agent will look at that commercial the yeah. all-state hands will probably go well we don't have enough hands <laughs> you know <laughs> so uh, but that's interesting because when I would buy first of all went to buy a car and I asked a friend of mine what should I buy he said well I don't know I bought a lemon <laughs> So I went to a dealer and I said, I, I, I'd like a lemon. I'd like a lemon. And, and he shows me Pinto. And, 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 I, and I said, no, no, I, I want a lemon. He said, trust me. Trust me. And what's interesting for the book, you know, I was collecting those expressions that, that basically mess me up the most. Like, for example, when you hear from somebody and they tell you it's raining cats and dogs. <laughs> First thought from my mind was umbrellas wouldn't help. Yeah. <laughs> Windshield wipers probably go, oh, no. Yeah. Not the Dobermans. Yeah. You know? <laughs> One guy said to me, I got it from the horse's mouth. Now, that there's a source of information. <laughs> and then he said, it might be kind of hard for you to swallow. I said, it's from the horse's mouth. Yes. I don't even want to touch it. <laughs> Ooh. 
So now, now you're an American citizen. Yes. Has that changed any of your perceptions? Well, first of all, I became a citizen on the 4th of July last year oh, at the Statue great. of Liberty, oh, which great. was a great experience. And being at the Statue of Liberty, it was such an emotional ceremony. And uh, when that was sworn in, first thought through my mind as a new American, I hate those foreigners. Oh. <laughs> And now you are well, American. yeah, they come here and take our job. <laughs> but I, I figured, you know, now I can talk more about what's going on in America and uh, from my perspective, yeah. and usual perspective also. Like, for example, Iran-Contra, I still can't understand. Uh, Reagan says he doesn't know anything about Iran-Contra, and doctors keep cutting off pieces of his nose. <laughs> There is a relationship there. <laughs> or I, I would watch uh, Jim and Tammy Baker, and that well. was to me so amazing because, you know, when they accused Jim Baker on homosexual affairs, at first I didn't believe it, but then I saw Tammy. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>